So this is going to be a new type of video for me. Anyway, what you see on the bench you may recognize as my TPI model F12 TV. And on this video we will be swapping the blade set. I have it plugged into the kilowatt. So before we go ahead and get started, I'm just going to take it for a quick run through all its settings, starting on low. Low speed starting 0.33. drawing by a lot. It's rated for one amp on the tag. I'm assuming that's a locked rotor. But if this goes to prove anything, it's that this fan, this motor, can handle a deeper pitch blade set. And what I have right here is a Torrington brand blade set taken off of an old dead air flight. Don't worry, it's not one of the uh, clear ones that appear on my channel. Um, the fan that this, that this blade set came off of is actually up on my display. The reason it's not up on the floor working right now is because motor decided to go kablooey on me. Even after I redid the varnish, even after I replaced the wires going into it, it still decided to go kablooey. And that is why that is the way it is. Get this back in the camera mount and we'll get started. There you have the factory blade set, which is just a generic RevCore propeller. And the Torrington blade set, you can see, I'm not sure how well you can tell on camera, but the Airflight slash Torrington blade set is a lot steeper it's a lot more steeply pitched. In fact, at the trailing edge, it's almost vertical, almost completely vertical. The only issue is this has a 5 16 inch bore. This has a 3 8 inch bore. So ahead of time, I went ahead Chopped off a piece of uh, sheath from a desk fan head wire. Use that as a, uh, a spacer so it doesn't 
shake. sure it doesn't rub against the cage okay I think I'm golden I kind of like this look. It reminds me of a uh, an old Phil Rich windmaker. Of course, I, I believe windmakers use the same propellers. I think they also use Torrington propellers. So anyway, I'll take it through its motions and get to you on the other end of it. Okay, so verdict. This propeller on this fan is phenomenal. Medium speed is like high with the old propeller. And you can see it takes up a lot more of the cage space this way. Anyway, I'm gonna fire it up again. We'll check out the amp draw. The old, the old propeller was pulling 0.64 amps at 122.4 volts. Point seven four, point seven five, still under the rating. Point 
4.2 on medium. Low speed actually isn't that much higher than uh, with the old propeller. Five hundredths of an amp more, that's it. already used this fan in this configuration on a job site before filming the video. Yeah, I already went ahead and did this. This is just for show. But, uh, probably had it running for a good three, four hours straight and didn't give me any trouble. So, I think this is how I'm going to keep it. However, I would like to say that these fans are a direct descendant. These TPIs, they are a direct descendant of Frigid's high-velocity fans. And they even used Frigid-style blades, I want to say, into the mid-2000s on these. I wish I had a picture of what they looked like, but very they were a very unique blade design. If anyone has any of the old frigid style TPI uh, fan blades in either 12 inch or 18 inch and they'd like to let them go, please don't hesitate to uh, send me a message. I will be more than glad to respond quickly because these blades really just aren't cutting it for me. And I have an 18 inch one of these I would like to find a frigid style blade set for. So thank you for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Out.